want. And I'm like, here, here it is in black and white. And he's like, sue us. Like, I don't want that to be the only option. I want, you know what I mean? Hello, I am Cupcake, your Fortiter Specialist. Welcome back to Fortiter News Network, where our goal is to expose Fortiters who harass innocent people using the excuse that you are trying to protect our First Amendment rights. The truth is, they are only interested in how many views they can get on their videos so they can make money on YouTube and not have to work. They use deceptive practices to draw viewers in, so we take those videos and turn them around to show the truth about them. Today we bring you episode 41 in our riveting series called Audit the Fraudit, titled Fraudit Along Failure, where we once again expose the frauditor named Civic Duty. In this video, we find ourselves back in Winchester, Indiana at the county courthouse where the forwarder goes to again air his obsessive grievances of a locked door at the city hall and what he believes are illegal signs that are put there just for him to keep him out. I decided it might be fun to do a frauded along. A frauded along is just like a ride along, but instead of going for a ride with someone, I virtually go with the frauditor to the courthouse via his camera. As I don't want to disturb the frauditor in the wild, I use thought bubbles to give my thoughts on what is happening. I soon find out just how sad and boring it is to be a frauditor and fall asleep, where I'm awakened by strange sounds and end up having to quietly climb out the window to escape the torture. Needless to say, I'll never go on or frauded along again. Let's take a look. Alright. So, we're at the county courthouse. Um, I got, just got a letter in the mail. And I'm not 100% sure what it's for. The circuit court clerk sent me the letter. So we're here to get some uh, clarification on the letter. So let's see, let's see what we can find out. Let's see what they're telling us to come down here for. They don't like us in the city building, but now they're telling us to come here. Okay. I got this in the middle today. Okay. Just trying to figure out what it was about. It said something about my email not being on record, so I couldn't pull it up or. Okay. Um, let me see. Yeah, it looks like. Let me check your information. <clears throat> okay, do you have a, a good email? Yes. Okay, go ahead.
and your address. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So now uh, it's pretty much just uh, stating that we needed an update email. So now that they'll now that they have that, they'll send it to your email. All right. Yep. And then, do you know what it's pertaining towards? Is it the protection order? I believe. Um, yeah. It looks like uh, right here. That. Yeah. I'll say right here. Uh, hearing scheduled. It looks like. So what uh, June twenty third. It looks would, like. What would I be downloading? And well, is it like a summary or something? Uh, yes, okay. yes. It's just like any like any order or anything that they send you, uh, that's what you would download. And you'd be able All to right. check that. So like the protection order I received, that's what it would yep, be? Yep, oh, Okay. And then that's your um, date right there. So you want to keep that. So you have All that. All right. And I do have another question. Okay. Um, when you come to get public records for like the county, who okay. do you get those from? Um, what kind of, it depends on what kind of records you're looking for. All right. Well, I requested like... Um, at City Hall for the mayor and the city attorney. Okay. Any emails pertaining towards me back and forth because they're putting up signs and I don't know if you heard about the big board deal. They keep putting up illegal signs in publicly accessible areas there just to keep me out. They shut City Hall down because of me. Okay. I don't know so, anything about City Hall. Well, when I put the uh, email request in, like for those records, I got denied because they're claiming client attorney privilege and I'm like, but there's no criminal matter behind it. So I don't know, like, for example, if I was to do that here between, like, if the county attorney, which is still Meeks, if he sent a memo out to you guys about me, could that be blocked for, because you guys, because they're claiming since you guys work for the city, they work for the city, but you guys would work for the county, that you're privy to that, that being blocked, basically, is what I was trying to, could they do, could you guys do the same thing here, basically? Um... Because last I checked, there had to be, like, it involving a criminal matter or court matter or something like that. Not just a advisement from the lawyer. Because that, that's publicly accessible. Yeah, as far as I know, I mean, it's public. Yeah. So, them denying me and they're like... I don't know anything about the city, yeah, Hall, yeah. but I know here. Because I know, because he's the city attorney and the county. So, if I was, like, to say, hey, I need a public records request of any email he sent you guys... He would try to block that as well with that oh, downstairs. All right. Okay. I just I just want to clarify. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, a, so you know, yeah. well, because we work for the city and he's a city attorney. We all have that client privilege. I'm like, well, since I'm the resident of the city one, and I have that same even without paying him. Like, he's like, no, I don't think so. I'm like, well, I'll figure it out. So, yeah. hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Oh, no, if I go too fast, I'll go really fast. <laughs> Uh, if it's ready, maybe yeah. But I had a I had a question too, okay. so. Let me use this. Let me finish with this. There you go. All right. Oh, beautiful, beautiful the contract with the city and county attorney. Salary. Mm -hmm.
What? So he actually quick claimed it to you in August of 21. Health insurance for the city. See, look at this. Big. City taxpayers are paying for health insurance. So this man is getting paid by the county and the city. He is making bank. Sorry. Okay, either party may terminate this agreement. Actually, the auto owner. At his office, okay, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I had an inquiry about like a public records and they told me that you guys would be best to answer it. Okay. So it involves the city and the city attorney and I was just denied and I'm trying to inquire here. So for example, the mayor's been putting up illegal signs closing city hall down since June because of me coming in with the camera recording, okay. which I brought the the fire code because they locked up publicly accessible doors. I brought all this stuff and he keeps telling me that the attorney is advising him to do these things. It's not him, it's the attorney. So I put a public records request in for him and the attorney and the chief and the attorney involving anything with me that he may have advised him with. And they denied it under client attorney privilege. So I'm confused on that because there's no criminal case there was no nothing. It's, it's basically advisement. There was no privilege that would, you know what I mean? That would, in my opinion, block it from what I've, whatever I read of the laws. So my thing is, say for example, I was coming here and the county attorney, which is the city attorney, sent you guys a memo on how to deal with me or whatnot like that. Would that not still be considered a public record that I should be able to obtain? Like if I put that... FOIA or, or a public records request in here for something of that nature, but I don't. I don't think he has sent you guys anything. But I know for sure they have talked because they they denied it right here. So I was wondering if that's even allowed. Yeah, that's that's what I'm just trying to clarify. Like if I was to come here, would you guys be able to deny me under the same reasoning they are denying me? That would probably be our auditors uh, would be better answer that. Who would? Who's that? Laura Martin. Is she's that? Not, no, she works in the back, but she's not in. The, All she right. Left All right. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just want clarification because their, their only solution is if you don't like it, sue us. If you don't like it, sue us, and I'm like. I don't want to do that. I want to get clarification. I'm, I'm trying to do everything the correct way. Like yesterday, I brought in the fire code about that publicly accessible area door being locked. Sue us. And I brought in the, the Randolph County sign code. You can't have a sign up in public property without it going through the council. He says, well, my attorney says I supersede the council. Executive supersedes them so I can do what I want. And I'm like, here, here it is in black and white. And he's like, sue us. Like, I don't want that to be the only option. I want, you know what I mean? To be able to walk in that building without being bothered. And the only reason why they're shutting it off is because of the camera. Like, I've come in here. You guys have all been respectful and nice all the way through. I don't know, but didn't... I, I 
think they had that door locked though for like a year. The, and the half front door buzzard, which is acceptable yeah. because they have to let you in if you're coming to conduct right. business. Now the issue is when you come in right there to the first lobby where uh -huh. the police department is. Now they're starting to lock that door to go back to the clerk and the treasurer's office and the mayor's office, which is still publicly accessible. But now since I've been going to get public requests, his, his exact words is, it's not usual for somebody to come down here five days, seven times to get public records. Why well, submit a public record? I get a phone call 30 minutes later, your public record's ready. What am I, you know what I mean? Like that's two visits right there. And then I, I fill out another, cause I, I basically it all started with a criminal case involving a 24 year old man and my 14 year old daughter. Mm -hmm. And they were sitting on it. So I was getting public requests of what like, was going on. Everything was fine. Like they were nice, no doors were locked, no signs were up. And then on the 31st, I came in and one of the workers there, Kristen Wallace, she decided to take it upon herself to block that front door, buzz me in, open the door and refused to let me into the building because I had no right from her mouth being there, I had no business being there, even though I was just called to come pick up a public records request. I couldn't go in the building. They're all afraid of me. And that's the reasoning for kicking me out the building. And then from there, it just signs up, doors locked, like mayors blocking me from coming in there. It's, it's just utter craziness now. And I'm like, because of a camera. And that, like I said, I come in here just as many times as I went in there to get, handle business in my city or county, you know what I mean? This, this is what we do. And they're like, well, how fair is it? What if 10 people came in to do that? Good, then you're getting good business of people in your city, or city coming in to do business with you guys. You know what I mean? That's your guys' job. Because if we had nothing, you guys would have been bare minimum to do, you know? I mean, I know you guys have other duties and stuff too, but this is what it's here for. That's why the doors are open and stuff and there's countertops for us to come in and they're acting like it's in crazy to do that like what if i came in to pay a water bill is that is that insane too like but like i try to explain to him i keep the camera just in case there's anything that happens because i've been accused before like me and the mayor just two days ago i tried to come in he blocked the door started screaming started yelling and went and got the police officer the cop comes out there's a disturbance out here now if i didn't have this camera and could prove that it was the mayor screaming at the top of his lungs like anything could have happened. If those cameras were in the lobby, the mayor knocked on the door and held his face and said, he punched me. It would have been his word against mine. And like I tried to explain to him, his word holds so much more weight than just mine does. They're gonna believe him over me and then I have to fight it in court. It's why the camera's there to protect me, just like a body cam for our officer. And they're like, that's just craziness. And I'm like, it's right though. And they, they're mad about it. And now they're shut city hall down to nine public records requests and they're like, take it to someone higher up, sue us. And I'm like, I don't want to take away from the city. I don't want that to, I just want, you know what I mean? Okay, we're done here. Cause like the criminal case is already going through the court. It's already there. So all that's done. So if they just stop with this stuff, with the signs and blocking me from coming in, after a minute, I wouldn't have no need to go in there and it would die down on its own. And they just keep digging the hole themselves. And I'm like, why though? But that's, what, that's just what I wanted to clarify is if I was to come here and like, say, for example, the mayor sent you a letter mm -hmm. addressing like this conversation, I came to public records request that, would that really be possible for you to block? You know what I mean? I don't know the answer to that. That's, so w when's she going to be back? Monday usually? I assume Monday. Right. I, just, I just want my, clarification my on that. going to end up being a, she's probably going to have Stockley County Attorney. It would be my guess about that. So. <laughs> Sure, that it's just craziness you know well he tried to tell me that he don't get paid by the city or the county because he tried to kick me out of his building he don't get paid by the city or county it's a um what do you what do you call it uh a contractor he's a contractor for the city yeah. so i i came up here and requested his contract with the county and everything like that just to see because like how the um Bureau of Motor Vehicles work, like say for example, you ever seen them in a private plaza somewhere, but they're there in that building. Well, that is equal to basically public property like this coming in that courthouse because they receive money from the county or the taxes. And that's what I was trying to explain to him because they told me his office is right there if you need to speak to him. Well, another Forditor video bites the dust. We hope this Forditor gets the help he so needs for his obsessions and delusions before he annoys and bores the entire world. Anyway, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and night.